Hey everyone, welcome to Learning High. If you are a BTU student preparing for the advanced Java exam and aiming for 70 plus marks, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll walk you through the most important questions of module 2 you absolutely cannot miss. And if you want in-depth explanations about each and every question and access to most important questions of all other modules, which would be extremely helpful for your last minute preparation, you can click on the link in the description below, which will help you score 80 plus marks in the video exam. Starting with question one, what is string in Java? So firstly, you explain what is string in Java, which is nothing but a data type. And then you give an example and a small example program of what is how, how to demonstrate a string in Java. Under this question, you also have to answer sub questions like ways of creating a Java string, there are, which there are two ways of creating a Java string, one of which is string literal and using the new keyword. The syntax of how to create a Java string is, first you, firstly you have your string type and string variable and equal to the sequence of the string, which is nothing but the string value enclosed within double quotes, followed with a semicolon. Firstly, the first, well, the first way of creating a string is string literal using static memory. Second, second way of creating the string literal is using new keyword, which is the heap memory and examples for both the types. Interfaces and classes and strings in Java, you have to char buffer and string where you have to explain char sequence interface under which you have string, string buffer and string builder. Explain. For more detailed explanations of other topics and modules, check the link in the description. These video explanations are created by expert video professors to help you score 80 plus in your semester exams. In each of them along with their syntax, Coming to question number second, write a Java program that demonstrates six constructors of string class. So these are the six constructors of string class which are commonly used. You're supposed to give a little explanation about them or define them and give an example of the program or code. Question three, list and explain the various string comparison methods. The various string comparison methods, there are seven methods, equals, equals, ignore case, compare to, compare to, ignore case, content equals, region matches, starts with and ends with. First one, equals, give a small definition of what, what is equals and then follow it up with a example program along with its output. Second question, second part equals ignore case, follow the same pattern for all the other six. Question number four, write a Java program to remove duplicate characters from a string and display the string. This is the theory of how to and this is, these are the steps by using the simple for loop, by using sorting algorithm, by using the hashing, and by using index of method. So these are the ways in which you can remove duplicates from a string. So any one of which way, whichever you're comfortable in, you can choose and write the Java program. In this question, for every way it is demonstrated, so firstly, if you want explain, explanation on how this logic is created, you can get access to our video course. For more detailed explanations of other topics and modules, check the link in the description.
These video explanations are created by expert video professors to help you score 80 plus in your semester exams. Yes. Question number five, explain the string buffer class. So string buffer class, give a small definition of what is string buffer class and explain the features of string buffer class. List out all the important features along with its functions like append, insert, delete, reverse and example of string buffer along with its program code and output. Also mention the advantages of using string buffer. There are several advantages of using string buffer over regular string objects in Java. Firstly, mutable. Secondly, they're efficient. And then constructors of string buffer class. These are the three constructors of string buffer class. Give its description along with syntax. Question number six, list and explain the methods of string buffer class. So there are a few methods of string buffer class. You can list all of them, give a small explanation along with its example. The same pattern follows for every question in this subject. Syntax and example are a must, which carries a huge amount of marks. And if you want explanation on how to get these, or if you want basic explanation on what a string and what a string buffer, you can get access to our video courses where our expert faculty has taught each and every question in detail, which will help you understand it very well and all your concepts will be crystal clear. For more details, you can click on the link in the description box. So that is it for the video. And for more detailed explanations of other topics and modules, check the link in the description. These video explanations are created by expert video professors to help you score 80 plus in your semester exams. For more detailed explanations of other topics and modules, check the link in the description. These video explanations are created by expert video professors to help you score 80 plus in your semester exams.